there who sort of takes this to an extreme, and his name's Joseph Prince. Who's ever heard of this guy? He looks sort of like a cross between Prince <laughs> and Michael Jackson and Elvis Presley all kind of rolled into one, okay? So he kind of looks like a rock star. He's got the, you know, the feathered out hairdo and he's got the tight pants and the tight leather jacket and the pencil tie and he's real smooth and slick and he's preaching on a platform washed in purple light and he basically teaches, he teaches some right things and this is how people get sucked in. He teaches some right things because he talks a lot about God's grace he talk, and he'll, he talks a lot about how you can't lose your salvation. Well, that's a great doctrine because you can't lose your salvation, right? So whenever lies are taught, there's truth mixed in. So he teaches a lot of true things, but let me just explain this to you. The problem with most preachers is not what they say, it's what they don't say. Yeah, right. Let me say that again. The problem with most preachers is not what they say, it's what they don't say. You could go to the average liberal church and listen to 25-minute sermonette. They're not really going to say anything bad a lot of the time, but it's just that they don't say much of anything. Okay, and Joseph Prince, I don't care what anybody thinks, is a positive-only preacher. Yeah. Just, that's why he fills in for Joel Osteen's pulpit. That's why the two are buddies. That's why he travels in those circles. Because of the fact that Joel Osteen is a positive-only preacher, and it's all about the money. Look, are they teaching the error of Cain? No, because they're not really you know, pushing a works-based salvation, Joseph Prince, that is. But what he will do is run after the heir of Balaam greedily for reward. Okay, greedily preach what people want to hear, allure through the lusts of the flesh, and teach licentiousness and this Christian liberty, we're under grace, take it to this extreme, where the God of Joseph Prince doesn't chastise anybody. He doesn't chastise, we're all under his blessing. We're all, he's pleased with all of us. We're all just in good graces with him all the time. And so there's no reason to ever feel bad or guilty or anything like that. You know what? That's just a lie. And there's so many scriptures that could disprove that. And what it does is it sets up this straw man for the work salvation teachers to attack when you preach on by grace through faith. Then they'll try to lump you in with this weird doctrine like, oh, well, you're one of these people that just says to live however you want. And they lump you in with this, what, what they call the hyper grace where it's this thing of not only do you not need to do works to be saved, you don't even have to do works, period. I mean, it's just stupid. Yeah, we should do works. They don't have anything to do with salvation, but we should obey the commandments. We should do right. We should get the sin out of our lives. But, you know, according to Joseph Prince, it's just, it's all done, and we just sit back and just enjoy our standing in Christ. And, of course, the guy has 22,000 people in his church or something because that's a pretty popular message is do whatever you want. God, he said, the Holy Spirit will never convict you of sin. That's what he said. And of course, that's a popular message. Why? Because people in the last days, the Bible said, would heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, what they want to hear, what they want to be told. And the Bible says that they'll make merchandise of you. So there's all these clips of his preaching on YouTube. And then it says, hey, if you want the full sermon, go to his website to download the MP3 of one sermon, $7.99 for a download of one sermon. Wow. Okay, so I have 1,600 of my sermons on faithforwardbaptist.org for free download. So what if I charge eight bucks each? Then I guess to get the whole repertoire, you'd have to spend about, what, 13 grand <laughs> just to listen to all the sermons from Faith Forward Baptist. I mean, imagine spending $7.99 and listening to an, a one-hour sermon. It's like, well, okay, that's an expensive habit if you want to listen to a lot of preaching. <laughs> but it's about money, that's why. It's not about just preaching the truth, getting the truth out there. He sells the CD for $7.99, one sermon. DVDs are $28 for two or three sermons on a DVD or whatever. You know, and look, I'm not against businesses selling things. Businesses, but you know what? The church itself should not be selling things, number one. And number two, it's, 
charging those kind of prices, it shows you what the motivation is when basically he's not even putting it out there at all, the information. You got to get the download. And it's all the same, just tell you what you want to hear, tickle your ears, kind of false teaching. You say, well, why, you know, why are you coming down on Joseph Prince? Well, how about because he doesn't use the King James, he used the New King James. But worse than that, he doesn't even believe the New King James. I looked up, I wanted to see what he said about Jude, where Jude says, turning the grace of God into lasciviousness, because that's what he's doing. Yeah. So I wondered what he'd say about that. I found a video where he's basically, he gets up and says, oh, this doesn't say what you think it means. <laughs> Jude verse 4. This doesn't mean what you think it means. He, he, first, he, first he read the verse in like five versions. He read it in five versions, right? But then he proceeded to explain how all the versions are wrong. All 400 and some English Bibles are all wrong. Let me go back to the Greek and tell you what it really means. And this guy, was just, this guy goes back to the Greek a lot. So not only is he using the wrong Bible, then he, when it doesn't say what he wants it to say, he'll just change it and say, well, the Greek. You know, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they speak Greek in Singapore, where Joseph Prince is from. And I doubt that he would do very well if we dropped him in Athens without a tour guide. But he's going to say, oh, the Greek, the Greek, all these 400 versions, they're all wrong. It doesn't really mean turning the grace of God to lasciviousness. It means that you've swapped out the grace of God for lasciviousness. It's a swap. So basically, preaching the grace of God prevents us from lasciviousness is what that's, but that's, no, that's not what that verse is saying. That verse is saying you're turning the grace of God, you're changing it into lasciviousness. It doesn't say you're swapping it. And by the way, every English Bible says that. Even the versions that are wrong, they get that part right at least. He's just coming in with some strange translation. I mean, it's pretty bad. It's bad enough when you're, sh when you're shopping Bible versions until you find the one that says what you want it to say. Shopping version. You'll, you'll see preachers that'll use like five different versions in one sermon because they shop around for the point that they. It's like people who go to a, uh, keep going to a doctor until one will give you the oxycodone. Right? You'll find one eventually. Oh, it hurts. Where's it hurt? Everywhere. Okay, here you go. Oxycodone. There you go. You know, you'll get you'll get it if you want. Right? So that's the thing, they searched versions until they find it. This guy, when he can't find it, then he just said, well, these are all wrong. This is the Greek. He doesn't want to face what this verse teaches because he's guilty of it because it's about him. And here's how he, he tries to say it's not about him. He says, well, these people are teaching the way of Cain, and we know I'm not teaching the way of Cain because I'm, I'm not teaching works at all. What he doesn't understand is that this, this, this chapter is warning about lots of different false prophets that do lots of different things. Look, when he says that they turn the grace of God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. It's not saying that necessarily it's the same person doing both of those things. It's not necessarily the same person that's in the way of Cain that's teaching the gainsaying of Korah. These are various types of false doctrine and false uh, things that could be taught.